Hello, uh, I'm Firefighter Purcell with the Bloomington Fire Department. I've got Firefighter Max with me today, as well as Captain Rodney. Uh, and we're here to show you that we do more than just fire. We do EMS as well here at Bloomington Fire. Today we're going to go over our equipment for a cardiac arrest scenario. We've got a Lucas device and we're going to show you how we utilize that today to help better serve our community. We've come upon a cardiac arrest victim so they do not have a pulse and they're not breathing. Max is going to start CPR. We work in what they call a pit crew model. So we've got one person focused on CPR. That's the uh, most important step in a cardiac arrest. As long as somebody continues to provide good high quality CPR, that's that's what they need in this moment and what Captain Rodney is doing right now is he's applying uh, the monitor pads which uh, could be very similar to like an AED but we've got the more advanced version that allows us to analyze ourselves and get the patient more rapid intervention and rapid treatment so as Max continues CPR I've got my Lucas device here and this is our auto CPR device this provides high quality CPR and it allows Max uh, to not have to do CPR for more than two to four minutes or continuously. First step, we turn it on and this goes over the patient and it's got a plunger uh, here that would normally just take over uh, where his hands are placed and this pushes up and down on the chest. We've got a back plate. This goes under, this makes sure that uh, if they're on carpet or anything like that, that they get good compressions and they've got a hard surface to compress against. Keeping compressions going, we place it underneath the head we try to minimize our interruptions and so we work through it together so a person leading at the head so we say Max I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna move this underneath the patient all right one two three all right continue CPR and so what he's gonna do is get that hooked up there we go so minimal interruptions and now this takes over and this allows us to utilize our medications as well as our monitor to continue to provide good quality CPR to our patients. 